what up y'all it's your boy and i'm not gonna lie it's not it's not in the daytime it's the nighttime right now the stars are out it's late i don't know why i'm up so late well i know why i'm up so late i'm about to tell y'all why i'm up so late so this ain't really a review i guess in a way it's a reaction but you know not to like any kind of media or anything going on in the world just you know something that happened very recently to me and when i say recently i mean just you know a few hours ago and I know it's late but I felt the urge to make this because it's just been on my mind heavy and I need to get it out there I need to maybe get some some second opinions maybe some thoughts maybe y'all can weigh in let me know your own stories so I've been uh, seeing this girl and we ain't really trying to date it's like a friends with benefits you know type deal so we just hang out you know we do a little a little fooling around maybe have some dinner you know, talk about our thoughts a little bit. You know, maybe she, maybe she'd tell me about something she saw on on the internet that was interesting, and maybe I'll maybe I'll tell her about something I saw. You know, talking about current events. You know, we like to keep up with things, but we've been having all kinds of fun. You know, this girl a freak. I've been having all kinds of activities, and uh, tonight things got a little different, and. Not like bad different, but just different different, you know, because I'm old school and, you know, maybe these new ways are just, it's too much for me or something. I'm, maybe I got to catch up. Maybe I'm just, you can't teach this old dog a new trick. So I'm hanging out with this girl and we get to talking about, uh, you know, kinks, about these, you know, sexual kinks people have. You know, some people like to look at feet and whack off. You know, some people might want you to climb up in a tree with them. Somebody might want to, you know, shave your back and keep the hair in a little sack. You know, people got all kinds of, you know, fucked up things they're into. And I mean, I'm not, I don't, I don't judge, you know, you like what you like, but just, you know, those things aren't usually for me. So we get to talking and we start talking about, uh, you know, eating booty. Cause that's kind of something that in, you know, more recent years I've been hearing more about a lot of these young kids, especially they brag on it. They talk about, they eat the booty. They eat it so much, they even say it's groceries. You know, these motherfuckers, they toss in salads. That chef's salad. All these young kids are chefs now. And so we we talking about that, and she told me how she had it done to her once. And I'm like, that's cool, you know. And I, you know, I ain't never had that, nothing like that. You know, I ain't, I ain't never done that to a woman. I ain't had a woman ask me to do that to her. So I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but it just never came up, you know. And I was thinking maybe she about to ask me to do that. So I'm mentally preparing. Like you might have to lick some butthole tonight. Anyway, she look over at me. I see her give me that side eye, you know. It's like a, like a, you know, it's like that instinct kick in. Like a predator's looking at you. You need to pray. You can sense they're looking in your direction. So out my peripherals. So I look over there and she says, you ever had somebody lick your asshole? And I said, no, you know, I haven't. Because even though, you know, I'm I'm up to new things, I'm, like I said, I'm an old school cat, you know, I haven't had a lot of those wild, wild experiences. My, you know, sexual interactions and encounters, they've all been, you know, pretty traditional, you know, because my butthole, it's, it's, it's a terrible place, but it's a sacred place, you know, and I've always thought everybody's butthole is kind of like a sacred place, you know, you should, nobody should see that. Maybe the, the toilet water should see it. Maybe a doctor, you know, that's why you got butt cheeks, just to hide that butthole, keep it a secret, that's the chamber of secrets, might fuck around and find a basilisk up in there, but I digress, so we talking about it, and I'm kind of, you know, not really feeling it, but she's convincing me, you know, she keeps talking about, you know, she'll, she'll fucking, step by step, she won't rush it, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll ease into it all nice, and finally, you know, I say, fuck it, let, let's give it a try, you know, because I'll try anything once. And I go to the bathroom. I told her I wanted to do a spot check. You know, if you're about to go down there and do that, let me at least go in there and, and make sure everything ready to go, make sure it's clean. So I pat down, you know, no mess. I even give the, the toilet paper a little sniff, you know, just to make sure it don't stink. Because I know she about to go in there on that damn mission. You know, she about to go the center of the, of the fucking earth or something. And so I go in there, I strip down, you know, looking like a damn hunk of cheese. And I didn't really know what position to get in at first. Because I was like, you know, I should probably bend over. But then I thought about the trickery. 
about the deception, you know? She could maybe slide a finger up in there. I'm not looking. Maybe she might try to steal some shit, you know? She fucking looking around grabbing things. And so I do, you know, the only sensible thing. I lay on my back. So I'm on the couch now, laying on my back, legs up in the air like I'm about to give birth. I'm looking like a whole ass raw chicken, y'all. About to get rotisserie, about to get that glaze, everybody eating. And so I'm laying there, all of a sudden she come creeping up like a weasel. She's sniffing the air like she's trying to find that damn hen in the coop. Trying to damn chase the chickens out the nest. She's sniffing her way up, crawling up there, right into the booty hole. She get to licking, and I get to giggling, and I know that's kind of crazy, because it didn't feel pleasurable at first. This shit just tickled like a motherfucker, so I start giggling, and she did not like that. She immediately quit, and she looked up at me, and it's funny when somebody is down at your asshole looking up at you. You know, it's kind of like hard to take them serious, and she says, look, I'm going to need you to cut out all that damn giggling. I'm down here doing the, doing a hard job, you know, I need you to fucking let me concentrate I need to gather my chi, gather my energy, my chakra, like she about to do a damn spirit bomb or something. So, you know, I, I let her do her thing again. I said, you know, okay, I won't laugh. And I wanted to giggle again, but I found the way I could control it was to clench my toes together, you know, curl my feet up. And it, it kind of kept the laughter in because it, it felt kind of nice. I'm not going to lie, but it tickled. And she looked up at my curled ass toes and she takes it as like, oh, this dude is having a blast right now. Let me kick it up a notch. So she starts motorboating. She starts slurping things in, starts spitting things out, slapping them, humming on them, fucking snapping her fingers. She was doing whistling, all kinds of things. You know, I mean, I, I had never had it. You know, you know how when you go to the car wash, how you can spend the five dollars and get the regular wash, or you spend like fifteen and you get that premium. It's got everything. I was getting that premium package. And I'm not going to lie, y'all, it was wild. I'm having almost the time of my life. And then tragedy struck. Well, I don't know if it's tragedy. That's, that's the part I really want y'all to weigh in on. I'm laying there. This is all happening. And, you know, I'm feeling like some kind of, you know, sexual Tyrannosaurus, some kind of king, you know, some kind of machismo man. I'm a damn... I'm a damn incubus, you know, some kind of wanderlust. That's what I'm feeling like. And all of a sudden, she reaches her hand up, and she grabs a hold of my titty and squeezes it. Now, you know, I don't got big titties. I got little titties. But, you know, she had a little hand, so she had a handful of titty. And even though we were having fun, it's fucked up in my mind. All of a sudden, I almost went to, like, a sad, negative place, you know, because I kind of felt like a bitch. And, you know, there ain't nothing wrong, I guess, with, with having your titty squeeze. I mean, I'm not hating on that. But just for me, I had never had nobody do that. So, I guess my question is, is, is that a bitch thing? Was I a bitch, you know, for getting my titty squeezed? I didn't ask her to do it. And, you know, she finished up her thing. And it was a good time. We finished watching the show we were watching. It's not like it got awkward at all. But just for the, those couple of seconds, you know, while that was going down, your boy felt very strange. And it honestly kind of took him out of the whole thing. So I want to know if that's normal. If y'all ever had a girl squeeze your titty while she ate your booty. Maybe if you just had a girl eat your booty and didn't squeeze your titty. You know, how was that experience? But I had the combination. Titty squeeze and booty eat. Everything was cool. Even the titty squeeze wasn't bad. But like I said... In that split moment, I kind of felt like I was being, like, dominated or something. Like I was being owned. So, you know, y'all let me know what you think. And that's my story.